Okay, I'm in my favorite place on earth, the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I am so blessed that I live so close to here. I grew up through life coming here all the time. Right over there is Jockey's Ridge. Uh, it's a wonderful place. I've actually done a video up there, went to the top and built an antenna. But today I want to do something people have been asking me to do for a long time. I'm going to build a kite antenna. This place behind me here, Kitty Hall Kites, world-class kite seller. I'm going to find out. I, I'm really, I know nothing about kites. Eh, maybe a little when I played with them as a kid, but I don't know a whole lot about kites. So I'm going to get a kite that can lift an antenna, put an antenna in the air. And we're going to go to where flight began, the Wright Brothers Memorial. Now, North Carolina, the Outer Banks, first in flight. It says it on the place. I don't care what that other state says. And you guys are probably going to not let me come to Dayton this year for saying this, but North Carolina, where flight began, we're going to put a kite antenna up at the Wright Brothers Memorial. But first, let's go in Kitty Hawk Kites and find one to put up there. Wow, here we go. We gotta find the kite that we wanna use here. I think uh, a pretty good selection. I need to find somebody that's an expert here and talk to them. Okay, I just talked to Logan here at Kitty Hawk Kites and uh, led me in this direction. This company's called Prism and uh, the parafoil versus uh, both of the, I, I, I'm on the fence here. I looked at the Delta here, the, the Zenith Delta. Ah, man, I was on the fence. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to get this Bora 7, the Prism Bora 7. I like this because as far as like a bag, heading out on the beach or packing or whatever, that's going to be a lot easier, a lot easier to get up. Quicker assembly as well than this. So here we go. We're going to go with definitely the uh, Prism here at Kitty Hall Kite. So that, that's it. Comes with a 300 foot of line as well, so let's get going. All right, Maybe I'll... more shopping here. What are you buying, Allie? What are you buying? I'm getting another one of these because I left it out in the rain and oops. No, you got other stuff here I, too. I got, I got lots of. All I right. Got lots of stuff. I'm 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 Sherpa boy now. I'm just carrying the bag. I got what I wanted. Now I got to. Sherpa ever. <laughs> now I got, now ever. she's got to uh, do some shopping here. Let's let's go have some fun. Okay, I like this first Outer Banks T-shirt I've seen that um, actually gives us some love here. Look at that, <laughs> Portsmouth. <laughs> cool. Okay, we're here. That is the Wright Brothers Memorial. Now that was a sand dune back when Wilbur and Orville first flew, and they flew from that point there, way out in that direction. Now when they made the monument. They put vegetation up here on the sand dune, cultivated it to hold that big monument there. So there it is. There is the Wright Brothers Memorial here. And this is, um, like I said, this is the National Park, as we should say. Let's see what I got here. Um, inside here, I've got a few things. The thing I'm going to be using, and one of the most important parts of this whole thing that I haven't mentioned yet, is the actual antenna. And boy, have I got a great antenna. This is the Reliant antenna, the Infed Halfway Bug Out. And what is the Infed Halfway Bug Out? It's a 56 to one. I actually contacted these guys about, I said, hey, I purchased it. I told them what I was doing. And uh, they said, oh yeah, how about we send you a Ribicoff as well? So coming soon, the Reliance antenna is Ribicoff. But I really wanted something lightweight. I have a couple in-fed half-wave antennas, but they were kind of bulky and heavy. I thought the lighter, the better. And the uh, Reliance antennas, the in-fed halfway bug out. Here we go. It was B and C. I had to add an adapter because I'm using uh, that type of coax uh, with it. So with that said, I'm going to spot myself. This is a Pota Park. And inside of here, I have got my Yesu. FT450D that just flipped over in the bucket. So there you go. I did bring, this is one of my uh, DX Commander pole uh, uh, PVC pipes that I use in the ground. I drove it in the ground here because that's going to be uh, where I'm going to anchor down the antenna line. But that direction, 
seems to be where the wind is headed. I'm going to get this, uh, here it is, the Bora 7, the Prism Bora 7. I'm going to get this thing up. I'll show you as I get started how I'm going to do it. Okay, here's how I'm doing it. There's the setup at PVC pipe. I've got that thing on the top. I just got it to, as a guard, a little uh, umbrella that goes on a, it's, I've got it upside down. It goes on a beach umbrella to hang stuff on. 300 feet of, uh, of kite rope, kite line there. I've got the uh, short piece of coax. And what I've done is I've got the 56 to one. I've kind of got it tied off into the kite line there. And you can see what's really cool is how light that uh, the radiating element is. I've stretched the line way out that way. So I'm gonna go out there, hook the uh, kite to it, and then lift it off a little bit at a time come back in this direction. Let's go make that happen. CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar calling CQ Poda from Park US 0797. CQ Poda. Park to park, park to park. Park to park. Whiskey 1, Bravo Delta Lima, park to park. Yeah, Whiskey 1, Bravo, Delta, Lima, 5-9. Good 5-9 signal into the park here. 5-9 is all well, well, I got you from Park 0882. Park 0882, QSL. QSL, and I am US 0797 here. I got a kite antenna in the air. Uh, the signal may be going up and down a little bit, but uh, you're you're doing well. Hey, you sound great. I got uh, two inches of snow and a hamstick, so we're doing our best. Well, I don't want to make you jealous, but it's 60 degrees and sunny here on the Outer Banks. Enjoy, brother. My favorite area. Thank you, 73. This is Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, CQ Poda. Whiskey Alpha 4, Tango Echo Delta. Whiskey Alpha 4, Tango Echo Delta. 5-7 into the park. Hey, thanks for Tennessee there, my friend. Have a great day, 73. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar, CQ Poda from Park 0797, Wright Brothers Memorial, North Carolina. The Charlie Whiskey Park to Park. Kilo Foxtrot 8, Charlie Whiskey. Kilo Foxtrot 8, Charlie Whiskey, about a 5'8", 5'8", to Park 0797. You're 5'7", into my two parks, 1549 and... 1550 QSL. QSL, QSL. What's what state are you in? I am in Mike, India. Mike, India. Michigan. Hey, thanks for Michigan there. 73, my friend. 73, Michigan. 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 Michigan.
Here we go. We're back. Kites back up. If anyone's on frequency, this is Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar for Park US 0797. Kilo 8 Oscar Bravo. Bravo 4 with Keith here. The, uh, before the Oscar Bravo? Yes, Kilo 8 Oscar Bravo. Walt, I got your 5.9 plus here in southeastern Michigan. Name here is Bill. And I love the videos, my friend. Thank you so much, Bill. I'm fighting a kite antenna, trying to keep it in the air. It's just not quite windy enough. Maybe I should put some more line out, but you are a solid 5.9 here. Oh, well, thanks for the 5.9, Walt, and uh, thanks for picking me up. Uh, hopefully you get your video tape and that. Thank you so much. I'm going to try to make just a few more contacts as I can because I'm just not enough wind here to keep me going. Anyway, this is Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, QRZ for a couple more. November 4, Delta Mike X-ray. November 4, Delta Mike X-ray. Great signal. You're 5.9 into the park. Okay, my kite is failing a little bit, but uh, here's the true activator. How I many? You probably own the record for activating this park by now. You live what a block away? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and tell everybody. Uh, I'm Dave K9DCH. I literally live on the other side of the trees over here, down here in Kill Devil Hills. That's so. cool. And you're you got the chameleon. Yeah, with the coil and uh, doing 20 and 40 and cool. adjusting in between. So cool, Dave. I love it. Well, I'm done. I'm uh, I'm going to go. Uh, Wrap it up and uh, maybe go get some seafood around here somewhere. Perfect. Great That's meeting good. you, brother, again. You good to see you out here. <laughs> Enjoy. Have, have, have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, some lessons learned there. <laughs> what do you think? Did oh, I look silly? No. I didn't look, look like a bumbling, stumbling, crazy man out there? No, you look like you're having fun. I was while you were sitting here reading your, what are you reading? Pirates and Ghosts yep, of the yep. Outer Banks. Of course. Guys, a few things. This um, this antenna was amazing. So uh, Reliance antennas, the bug out. Look how light it is, easy. Um, lessons learned for me. I think I needed to get the kite higher. There's trees around me. I had the hill on that side. It was coming from the south, but uh, the winds were in gusts and going up and down. So a little bit there. I can't wait to get out on the beach. Well, that's going to be a cool and cool antenna on the beach. Uh, maybe I'll do something different. Maybe a random wire or something like that. Um, I wouldn't mind doing like a, a, a top band, like a 160 meter quarter wave or something, uh, for the 160 ba meter band. That would be cool. But, um, the kite, um, as I showed you earlier, this is pretty cool. I made a ton, a, a ton. A it, yeah, it was cool. It was yeah. pretty. It's bigger. Yep. It's bigger than it probably looked. I think it says it's 20 feet long. That was a big, that was a big kite. But, um, I, um, if, if, if I make contact, I, activated the park I, I was going to go back through the video and re-log everybody um if i if i made contact with you i, I hope i can get you in the video i have so much to go through and clean up i'll probably just put a few because it's going to be a pretty long video but uh so much fun here at the uh, where flight began right brothers memorial i'm hungry you hungry starving all right seafood time let's go see you there Okay, we normally have quite a few places we like to go here on the Outer Banks, but all our local places are closed for the season. We've never been here, but we're going to check it out. This place is called the Black Pelican. The Wright brothers were here. Okay, no, they weren't, but <laughs> maybe they were. I don't know. That was a long time ago. Let's go inside. Okay, that's always a good sign right there. Yes. Okay, the Wright brothers were here. This was the, what did you say? This was the old life saving station, right? Yep. It's now the Black Pelican restaurant. Let's figure what we're going to get here. There's a, it's a big menu. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay, here's the story. Tell us the story, Allison. Tell me the story. Huge story. Uh, tell me the story. What's going on here? All right, I'll tell the story. <laughs> the legend of the Black Pelican. Construct oh, this place was built in 1874. Yeah. It was the Kitty Hawk Life Saving Station. Okay, that's enough. You can look it up online. <laughs> I'm hungry. Okay, I'm starting off my appetizer. Cape Hatteras Clam Chowder. My friends in Rhode Island, I go, that's just clear. Well, yeah, pretty close. Let's dig in. Oh my god, it's good. Look out. Look at all the clams. This is excellent. Okay, we're on vacation, so we're eating fried food. And I 
I got um, they're they're called baskets. We love baskets. Um, oyster and you got flounder. Oh, yes. that looks good. That That's looks delicious. really good. Can't wait. Let's dig in. Ah, oh, that was amazing. Mine was good. How about yours? Delicious. It was absolutely delicious. She didn't eat all hers. She's got a go box. But what I ate was really good. <laughs> it was good. It was good. Have you had a good day today? I've had a five-star day today. Me it was too. Wonderful. Me too. It's been wonderful. Um, getting back to the intent. This was supposed to be an intent. This was a... a tourism video for the Outer Banks of North Carolina more than an antenna video but um, fun uh, I'll put a link below to uh, Reliance Antennas that was really a great infed half wave um, I have a lot to learn I'm gonna improve that for sure it was good hey it was a successful first outing but uh, it can get better and uh, I can't wait to get on the beach with uh, with an antenna on the beach that's really what I kind of wanted to do that but I was like band conditions aren't that great today I can spot myself if I operate POTA if you guys know me, I'm not super in the poto. I think someone I'm, you're you're becoming like, I like this poto thing. So do. she does. So um, we're going to have to get her to get her license. Maybe she can become the poto queen. Um, <laughs> <we're>, <laughs> but we had a good time. Thanks for coming along with us. Um, we're going to be down here for another day and a half or so and just enjoy ourselves. And uh, we're going to go back to our room, kick back and uh, watch TV and maybe have a couple of adult beverages and that type of thing. But um, thanks for coming along on the trip with us. Um, hey, guess who's gonna be at uh, Hamcation with me? Her. So uh, we hope to see you. If you're going to Orlando next month, uh, we'll be there together as well and, um, and, and look forward to meeting you. And if, like I said earlier in the video, if you made contact with me today and you weren't in the video, whew, there was a lot there. I'm gonna try to put a few of them in there, but uh, yeah, they, I don't think uh, YouTube needs another uh, full, long photo video. <laughs> so <laughs> there's where we're at. Anyway, guys, thanks for everything. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Until next time, I'm Salty Walt and Aqua Alley. 73. Stay salty. Bye.